Ha 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 ha. 1-0-1-0-1. You are turning me on, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to, to the Fight Show. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Dickie Dines Show. Today, we are going to be doing a Would You Rather Metal Edition. Yes. So these are Correct. very simple would you rathers. I'm sure you understand how that game works. We're just putting metal spin on it and you'll see what we mean shortly. So I have five would you rathers and then Siri, Austin has five. Siri, what's a would you rather? And <laughs> we're gonna play. So join us, all y'all at home. Virtual spin the bottle. Yeah. Or I mean would you rather? Diet cock. I mean diet What are we cock. doing? I mean diet cock. Would you rather metal edition number <laughs> that, that one. one. I picked that one. Oh, you're not doing it yet? I don't know. The you, anxious dude. person at a party. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That one. <laughs> oh, that's the setup? <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg at every party he's ever been to. This is what humans do. <laughs> number one. Would okay. you rather go to a Slayer concert and yell, uh -oh. Slayer sucks! Oh, no. Or put the center stage vocal mic <laughs> entirely in your mouth after a festival. Ooh. I don't know if I could physically do that. My jaw, I got TMJ. I can't open my jaw very well. Uh, all that spit, all that, all that. Yeah, for real, the, cu the cup spit. Ooh. It's the, just, dude, the Slayer one. I bet now. You could get away with, like, people would be like, that was pretty brave. Like, if you, if you yell fuck Slayer at the pit, like, you honestly might get, like, some, that, like, big ass burly dude that's like, that was fucking. Hard. <laughs> you have my respect, brother. <laughs> so, like, maybe that, I kind of like that. The potential so, you're of saying that it's gone so far that Slayer fans yeah, now like, think it's hard to they, say they Slayer sucks? Because they built the reputation to the point that, like, nobody's gonna say that. So, like, if you did, they'd probably be like, Who's this, this guy? This motherfucker really, he's got no one with him and just really <laughs> yelled that. I carved with a knife Slayer into my back a minute ago. <laughs> and you just yelled that this band sucks. You're crazy. <laughs> like, that's pretty So funny. you're saying it's so far. Yeah. So you would choose go Violence. To, you would choose violence. <laughs> I would choose yelling <laughs> Slayer sucks at the concert because of the off chance that they might respect me. <laughs> 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 or I might die horrible. Okay. Okay. Life, life's a highway. I didn't think I didn't think that was gonna be the case. Would you, you pick, what would you pick out of this? I me? Well, fuck. I would probably see people at a Slayer show would look and see me, <laughs> and they would know, and they like, would be this like, fucking "That guy. fucking guy yeah, sucks." They think you're doing it for content. I'm or gonna something. kick They'd... his ass. That's fair. So I would probably get my ass kicked, where they would look at you mm -hmm. and be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, respectable. That's okay." Funny. This dude's wearing an Isabel hat. Yeah. All right, he means no harm. Yeah, no. They'd recognize me and be like, "I've always wanted to fucking punch that bitch. I'm gonna so, fucking so get him." So you're putting the COVID. Mic I might put in the COVID mouth. mic in my mouth. Yeah, respect. Yeah, respect. yeah. All, All right. right, you ready for mine? Yes. I, mine's probably a little less philosophical. Okay. <laughs> uh, would you rather be devoured by vermin or get a hammer smash face? Ooh, that's okay. They're both cannibal. That's songs. yes, yes. Devoured by vermin. Yeah. Or so I either would... either way, you're you know. Oh, well, not either way. I guess you know. Because if you're being devoured by the vermin, you're dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're getting your f face smashed by a hammer, there's a small possibility if you I get, don't die. If I get my face smashed by a hammer, I can't take beautiful Instagram pictures anymore, so I might as well you be dead. You could probably take pretty, pretty wild ones. I might yeah. as well be dead at that point. So, like, if or I can't, you like... You make a gimmick off of it, maybe, if you're alive. Like, I'm the hammer smash face guy. I'm the mascot for I'm Animal the guy Wars. from the song, I'm yeah. the guy that got my face hammer well, smashed. Well, it depends. Do I want to live the rest of my life with a hammer smashed face? That's the that's well, the you, thing. Or, or would you, I just you prefer be to the just guy be that like, was no. eaten by vermin? <laughs> but I'm dead. Yeah. I'm non-existent if I'm devoured by vermin. If I get a hammer smashed face, I might live. Honestly, I probably pick the vermin thing too because. But that's then I'm disfigured, and I, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, that's like, fair. Okay. Well, know. okay. What if it kills you then? What about the situation? Do, would I hammer rather smashed? die or die? <laughs> well, no, well, that's the means of dying. Okay. How many times getting hit in the face till I die? Uh, let's say the first two, they were like, man, this is, I gotta do way harder. This is not, okay. I'm not swinging so really hard So I feel the enough. first two. The first, the first one just, like, dazes you. The second one makes you, like, you, like, kind of, like, I'm good. Going, like, you know, my brain's not working too good right now. And then, uh, the fourth like, one. Like, by the fourth the or fourth, fifth one? The fourth one, you're like, 
as good as dead, and then the fifth one kills you, but you're like... Okay. So the fourth one is the last one that, like, puts you out, okay. but you probably are only going to feel the first three. For sure that, because I feel like Devoured by Vermin is going to take about four mm -hmm. to six hours. And it's so vague, Vermin. Like, how, what, what, like, is it a, like a... You know, like a rats? set pool of multiple. Yeah, like what is it? this? Like rats, mice, there's some fucking yeah. rabbits in there. Possums, yeah, raccoons. Dude, oh man, getting munched on by a couple possums. Yeah, I would definitely take Sheesh. the smash because it's just just because it's quick. Dude, it sucks to think about the reality where you have to be like, alright, I've chosen hammer smash face. I'm like, yeah. alright, go lay down on that table. <laughs> alright, smash my face in. The insult to injury is that once you're dead by the hammer smashed face, they they'll feed just you feed the you to the vermin. <laughs> so you know it works. Alright, my number two. <laughs> Would you rather, Austin Dickey of the Dickey Dines show, <laughs> listen to the final episode by asking Alexandria once a day for the rest of your life? That one. And for those of you who don't know, that's the one where it's like, oh my god! <laughs> if only hey now! Okay, it's that song. Uh, oh or every time that you poop. Austin Dickey of the Dickey Dine Show. Stop. You have to scream the lyrics to a Cannibal Corpse song of your choosing in its entirety. Dude, that's a lot of effort. Every time? Every time you poop. It, any song you want, but you have to scream it like metal scream, like, rah, rah, rah. like you gotta do well, the well, whole song in its entirety while you're pooping. What was the first one again? Listen to the final episode by asking Alexandria once a day for the rest of I your life. That one, I picked that one. Yeah, yeah, that seems fine. Because if you think about it, that song's about four minutes. A poop is about four or five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you're just going there, just get the business done. You're not sitting on your just, phone. Just play the asking. Four or five minutes. You know, so it's about the same. I mean, amount I of guess. Time. I guess if you look at but it, but like, every time you could, poop, yeah. It, so at a restaurant, ooh, yeah. at a hotel, mm -hmm. at your friend's house, at your mom's house, you have to scream. That is a cannibal funny. Corpse song. That is inherently very funny. <laughs> but also, like your significant other is gonna hate you. Probably. Like really. Again, but imagine every holding? morning at six a.m. you wake up, dun, dun, you dun, get your dun, coffee, dun, dun, and dun, dun, you're just sitting there. Dude, man, there are some people that choose to do that. Like, it's just, it, there's no way that it's that bad. Like, there's oh, there's people out there doing that right now. They wake up every day with that on their playlist. They've got ten songs they listen to, and that is one That's, of them. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It'd be good vocal sure. practice, at least, if you were doing Camel Corpse. But that is you'd true. You'd be so annoying. You'd be so annoying. Yeah. Everyone would hate you. For sure. Like, I don't know. Yeah, he's cursed. I don't know. He just does. He has to do that or he'll die. He's, he's got OCD or, or a pirate's curse. I don't know which right. is which. All right, what's your second one? Oh, yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, really frazzled me. Uh, <laughs> my number three is, would you rather acquire the ability to play guitar like Tosin Abasi Ooh. or the ability to play drums like Luke Holland? Ooh. Both uh, kings of their instrument, innovators, if you will. Okay, I will say this. It's... A little biased of an answer because I do already play guitar a little bit. So you play drums too. I play drums a little bit too, but like obviously more main mainly mm -hmm. guitar. And because of that, I I am very happy n not having to play stuff that is <laughs> insanely <laughs> difficult. Right. Because I like running Spider around fingers. the stage. I like jumping and mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah. having fun and being not like doing calculus in your head. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. Or I would prefer probably to just be a much better drummer than I am and just okay. sit behind a set and just yeah. rip it like that. Because that seems really fun for me. But playing like what I already can play, it's like that's what I like to play. Mm -hmm. Like I don't play like Tozen because right. I you're already content where you are guitar wise to be fair. I can't obviously that goes without saying even if I could as I is right as as I stand right as now, I is right now as I is right now I enjoy just like playing simple simpler stuff and jumping around stage That's more fun for me. I think than if I was just sitting there like meticulously like okay per the songs in posture. 913 time signature like that would be awesome to be able to do that but i but it also don't know if i stressful. would enjoy it as much <laughs> but if i could rip i'd be it, so stressed every night like i dude, could do this every night <laughs> if i could rip it on the drums like that oh yeah that yeah. would be so much fun. I think so I for the, sure I think the drums. drums too honestly drums for sure because he yeah, had groove dude being able to i've always wanted to groove drums over a rap song i love yeah. that type of shit and luke's like fucking yeah just has kills such a good it ear all the time that. I would say probably drums. Yeah. For sure. That was a good one. I like that one. All right. My number three. Would you rather 
relive the best live concert experience that you ever had or host your own event that could go terribly so ooh um so what are the stipulations of the event thing like like how far into the event am i where i need to pick up like, like, am I doing this from scratch? I have to yeah. Like, so like, do, do you know how like event? I've hosted like house shows? Uh -huh. Now think like you're 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 like I hosted a few shows at even like El Corazon in Seattle, like actual venues. Right. But imagine you're doing like a big, like say you're hosting like some like thousand cap room, mm -hmm. and you have to make that money back, Sheesh. and you need to get good bands, right. and you and you're hoping for the best. Uh -huh. But it's something you could do that could be an amazing experience, mm -hmm. or, or it could, it could go completely. terribly, terribly and, bad. And what's the alternative to that? Would you rather relive the best live concert experience you've ever had? So would you rather go do something that you know is going to be really good again? Mm -hmm. So is it like a, like a time or, portal situation where I'm like walking back into that decade or they're like, that band is doing... Yes, but I, I imagine it as in your head, it's like, this is the best show I've ever seen. Uh -huh. And then you now portal back and then watch it from you now. Okay, like through my eyes. So a, you can relive, teenager, yes, like, but you can relive it okay. now with your current knowledge. That's pretty cool. Exactly. Or go out on a limb and possibly mm -hmm. do this event that completely flops yeah. but it could be really cool man as a supernatural fan i would like to hang on to the idea that i just get to check out my memories at the end of my life anyway so yeah. i guess i pick let's risk it for the biscuit dude let's, I, I think it, that'd be cool to try to try book your own show yeah. and just be like if you had that access to like the venue and be like all right i've got this sick venue and i got people i could hit up yeah. that, that could potentially be very but sick. you could never and I have relive. To host it, like i have to walk out there and be like yeah uh, ooh. but you can never relive your best live concert that you've ever experienced you can never relive it. this is the only chance you get where someone can say you can go back in time and relive that moment That's or cool. i can give you this venue and you have to host what if it's not sick though show. jared what if it's not that's sick? the that's point like, like, that's, that's the, the point <sighs> would you risk it for the biscuit to do something original and sick or would you like just be like no i know that this is like no i mean what if the memory is sick and, like what if it's not as oh, sick as i well, remember i don't know that that's like, also another <laughs> that's, thing yeah that's yeah. The, the, you like, could potentially ruin what, I know, your childhood yeah, go, I do this like thing, like, oh, there's no repercussions for this. When I go back, I'm like, it's not sick. Yeah. Oh my god, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like this, I was so immature. This it wasn't even cool. Right. Something like that. And no one would believe me about the memory thing. Like I just had basically had a DMT trip. And then yeah. I was like, you exactly. guys, I was back in 2008, yeah, right. and Let Live was playing. The you couldn't really share game. it with your friends. Like, okay, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it was really. I went back. Right. Right. I'd probably choose the event. Like yeah. hosting my own. I think that'd be cool. I mean, just to see, even if I could, like yeah. that, that would be a, a fun thing to it'd be stressful, but it would be really cool to just dedicate yourself to that right. for a little bit of time. As long as you gave I yourself like enough time to prep, like like mm -hmm. a month in advance, right? Yeah. And you like get the bands, you get the venue, it's all situated. You get the like, crack. You get the cocaine. You get, you get the, the fucking. You, yeah, the one thing that matters is good crack. You get the rock. go go girls. Every band does in between. Crack. The, this one show I saw, it was like. During teardown and mm -hmm. setup, they had go go girls that would get up and like <laughs> dance on the stage. That's pretty funny. And it was kind of cheesy. And they're just in the way. <laughs> it was kind of cheesy. Well, they would be like up on these like kind of like rafter, oh, riser things. Riser yeah. things yeah. Okay. But it was like, I, that's a good idea. Yeah, just like having it. some type of entertainment during. Mm -hmm like switch over or like I guess if there was a host right. that's when the host would go or a good talk, DJ I feel like a lot of or times good DJ, just yeah. not good DJ like it, it stand out when you're like yeah. whoever's running sound tonight is like knows the vibe yeah, yeah, like yeah. He, he's getting the crowd singing before, you know in between right like you, you ever been at one of those concerts where the whole crowd is singing Bohemian Rhapsody oh, before yeah. the band starts oh, <laughs> and yeah. then that band's like Shit, man. <laughs> we gotta follow Bohemian Rhapsody. You guys all just sang the whole thing. Y'all suck. There's no way you guys know our song as well as you oh, knew that that's one. So funny. I never thought about that. Before. That's really funny. Yeah, okay, now we gotta listen to this band who doesn't sound anywhere yeah, near as good as this. They just hype themselves up. Yeah. And they're like, I'm, man, let's go drink at home, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this shit. Let's show. just blare yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody at the house. Oh, all right. <laughs> so you get the cut baggers. All right, what you got? All right, number three here. On the motherfucking beat, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Would you rather have absolute pitch, perfect pitch, yeah. for life, so from here on forward, uh, or be able to tour with any band on any instrument up to six times a year? Perfect so pitch. So you can have <laughs> no questions asked. Perfect pitch. 
Because I could do so much more and go yeah. so much farther Dude. myself you could, as, a, yeah, you could, as an you could artist. Be touring twelve if, times a year. If you I was gonna pitch, say yeah. I could do so much shit perfect, if I if I had perfect pitch. Such a if I could thing. even just sing in general, like I can make a note and I can kind of sing. But like if I could actually like that type of shit, mm-hmm. like Jacob Collier shit, where right. it's like like just absolute bro, control over the yes. the. One hundred percent that every time. What's the f- the five thing called? The, the fifth uh, circle of fifths. Yeah, yeah. It's like the fifth circle or something. <laughs> it's the fifth or ring of hell or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, no, one hundred percent that. Yeah, I think I, I also I could, would pick dude. that. I would, <laughs> yeah, maybe this one wasn't as good as the question. As I no, thought, no, no, it was but, good. Uh, it was good because yeah. the, the other option would be sick too, but. Me personally being like more of like a you could do so much with that. It would, yeah, and oh, it would yeah. just even if you didn't want to make a career out of music, just imagine your kids would you'd have so much love, fun. Yeah, you'd fall. You could get anybody to fall in yeah. love with you. Just like, what song do you like? Yeah. Or, right. Like, or you could just be like Charlie Puth and be like, that was in an F sharp. <laughs> yeah, you made your mouth small to do that. That was in an F sharp. No. Okay. My next one. Would you rather, Austin, that only one. listen to breakdowns? Okay. Or only listen. To blast beats, and if you choose one, you can't have the other. Breakdowns for sure. Breakdowns for sure. Yeah, I yeah. Keep, keep breakdowns because breakdowns are so it's like a vague word now. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's like math rock breakdowns. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Chon can have breakdowns. Yeah. But blast beats, like a nice blast beat, gets me like, ooh, that was nice. But I've never been like, yo, yeah. did you hear that gravity blast? <laughs> like, get in here, fellas. Like, you gotta hear this guy go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. That's never really rattled my like. It's impressive, and I it's I like it's a bit of place a bit. But yeah, if I had to choose, I could live without a oh, world of fucking no. you know fully automatic drums. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, Austin, yeah, I'd have to agree with you for sure. It's so funny. <laughs> Like the so fast I didn't even move. And he went. <laughs> the frames can't even keep up. <laughs> All right. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather be chased through the woods by a? Oh no. Or be forced to wear Slipknot masks every time you go outside for the rest of your life? How long am I being chased? Until you get out of the woods. It's like a. What's like, my? Like, what's my? Like what's... imagine this. It's like the spirit of the this lives in the woods and it's, it's like you walked into the woods oh, no. entrance is closed off yeah i'm gonna yeah and then you are now on a sprint for let's say i don't like this one i'm going i'm, I'm gonna go with this <laughs> I'm gonna go with the. It smells so much more innocent when I wrote it. It's like this is a silly situation. But now that I'm breaking down how you, as a potential victim, have to escape the treacherous traumas of this, oh. it's becoming less of a fun hypothetical. All right, let's. Hey, that'd be funny if you wore a Slipknot mask every day, huh? That'd be silly. Like, oh, we're gonna mask on. I'm gonna take that yeah, one. Yeah, the mask I'm gonna one. Take that one. They, they, <laughs> take have, they have a lot of masks. There's okay. a lot of variety. Yes. Variety is the spice of life, <laughs> after all. All right. Anyway, my last one that I have, Austin Dickey. <laughs> yes. Would you rather that the metal genre never existed or you lose all of your personal musical talents? Well, oh, that's like a greater than thou hypothetical. This is like a thought experiment. <laughs> <laughs> of like, would you, would you and your, would you kill you and your group of friends to save like all of the United States? Type yeah. Of thing? So is this a world where metal would never be? Never would exist. It, like it, so it didn't get invented and it would never. No exist. metal. It Whoa. stopped at blues, baby. Whoa. No metal ever existed. And so yeah, that deletes all the sub genres of yeah, like distorted guitars. But you ha- but you would either you'd lose your entire catalog of musical talents. All. Fucking twenty years of talent of training musical. Does that mean I could I could learn a new thing though? It's gone forever, just like metal. But you don't even have the ability to no. pick up a new thing. No, no, no. Like, like, oh, wow. you no, know, like musically, Ooh. you're mu- you could never be musically talented ever again. Is, or the oh, entire man. metal genre would never exist. This is the infinity war of metal yeah. right now. <laughs> Fuck, man. This is like the the Spock thing of the the need of the many outweigh mm-hmm. the need of the few. You know, I. 
I'm I'm inspired by many things in life. I as much as I would fucking kill me, I think I would take the L for the world on that one. Yeah. Like I would I would iron Iron Man it. Yeah. Uh, man, that's a, yeah that's a sucky one. I'd probably be mad depressed for a while. Yeah. But I think I could use that and turn like get into something else. But, Good guy yeah. Austin Dickey just Dude, saved yeah, the every, entire metal genre for all you yeah. fucks. Oh yeah, I wouldn't even be into music if it wasn't for metal. So like, <laughs> it's it's one of those things. Of, like, I guess I have right. to. Like, you could still listen for the sake of and enjoy yeah. it. You could still enjoy it, but you would just be like, I, I, did, the, I did the grandpa that was like, you know, this wouldn't exist if it wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> this one yeah, time I'm sure, I did grandpa. It, would you rather shut the fuck up, grandpa? You never stopped talking about that. You saved the entire metal I genre. Saved it. <laughs> this is how the Dickey saved. Metal. <laughs> there's there's too many people in the world that have been positively influenced by metal that I could just yeah, not take dude, that away from. If, if, yeah, if all my musical talents went away, I think I'd just download Blender and just <laughs> stop talking to people and just, just really work on that. I just start playing <laughs> like. Just become a really depressed animator. <laughs> I just start playing League of Legends or something and just <laughs> yeah, disappear just start, start into the gaming. existence of. Of yeah, that's uh, virtual reality. I mean, you'd have people that don't know about your sacrifice and they'd be like, "Hey, do uh do the scream," and you're like, "Well." I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> that was your last one. That was, that was a good. One. That was a good philosophical Thank you. There. Thank you. You ready for my final one? Yep. Cake or death? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be a stringed instrument player that mm -hmm. is missing two fingers, mm -hmm. one from each hand, mm -hmm. your choice of what mm -hmm. finger, or be a vocalist that can only do vocals, kind of like Ozzy? Verbal communication is very one-sided unless mm. performed as like a vocal. So you can only sing, right? You sing or scream or whatever your method of... Even to, like, communicate? Correct. Yeah, every time you try to communicate, it would be like... So you'd have to sing. You'd have to sing, sing or scream to, your, like, like full on, like, how you would perform it, not just, like, hey, I'm doing a little hmm. job right now. The only thing I could see with... You'd have to be like, Sharon! Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, I was going to, I was going Johnny Cash. I was thinking like, hey there, baby, how you there doing you tonight? You know, something mm -hmm. like that. Where that, the only the thing with that was it. If you're doing that at a party, that's pretty cringe. You're trying to like whisper. To you're me. trying to like really close. Hey, baby, how you doing? They're gonna be like, oh, this guy's fucking cheesy as shit. So me? that'd be annoying for sure. What was, what was you the first never one? get served a drink at a bar. Oh yeah. Can what I do you, what get do you a want? <laughs> no, get the fuck. Shut up. <laughs> and they'd be like, why is he singing? I mean. If you were a, you'd probably get good mm -hmm. if you had to just communicate with singing. So it wouldn't be terribly annoying, or you'd but I shorten your vocal life. Yeah, maybe. Doing I guess. Constantly. I don't know. Right. Like, <laughs> Please. What was the first one? Uh, losing two fingers, uh, on one on one finger on each hand. Uh, but you're specifically a stringed instrument player only. Every type of stringed instrument is like you could pick up where you already know how to play. Well, but this you're hand missing. to me isn't that big of a deal. Because I only need these three, these three fingers. Mm -hmm. That's why I. That's why I made it one hand. Or yeah. One hand each because if you. So I would just take the one pinky. hand. You could just take both these and just yeah. be fine. I would just take like yeah. my pinky off because like there, people obviously use all their fingers, but right. I don't do yeah. like these, these two. You could get away with on your. I don't do much hand. classical Very picking. Cool. Yeah. So like I would just take that and I could still do like tapping. I could still do like mm -hmm. even three fingered shit. What about that. This hand would be weird. Like is thumb an option? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thumb then and then get like a brace, like a like a robot kind of like you know. Clamp that to your hand. Something because like it holds to your palm. Well, I was thinking you you and could put your guitar like have something designed where the guitar is like pressed up against your shoulder, mm -hmm. so you don't need your thumb to hold it. So you could have it like up against there and kind of like play wouldn't like it, this. Like, if you got to the top area, wouldn't it look like fulcrum outwards if you pushed? Because you need to push on the I mean, frets, right? Yeah, maybe. So if you did that, it might like you'd have to push hella hard this way. Hmm. And like Unless I, you, this is, the slide might work if you got a clamp and you did it like this, it's like your thumb's not there. Yeah. And it's like braced behind the neck right. and it's got like a slider. Yeah. And so you just like Whoa. I think if I were to take a finger off this hand other than the thumb, mm -hmm. because that might ruin literally everything. Now that I'm thinking about it, like you would literally just have you would, right. Where does the thumb? You stop would just if be you're like losing your thumb, like all the way down here. That'd be really hard. But I would probably take my third finger, because I I actually use my pinky more than my third finger. Do you notice you'd probably get your pinky to reach even further if you didn't have this finger too. Yeah, you'd right. Yeah. Unlock a new ability. You'd unlock the lo the orange button on guitar yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would definitely take the third one, but um. No, I'd probably just sing to people. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
so funny. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just I picked the first one. <laughs> yeah, I probably would just sing to people because it's like yeah, I mean that's funny too. After just, like because people I could tell them right. I'd be like I'm only doing this and because you could, I have to. You could get a medical like. Pay, you know, sign off. For yeah, that. they'd be, and then carry like a right. thing. And be like, no, right. like I, I'm not fucking yeah. kidding. I'm not trying. I literally have to, to be sing cringe. to you, <laughs> but I have to sing to you. Like, you and then you're like, I fucking heard you all take out the trash. I think the the next stipulation would be volume. Can I, if I can control my volume, then I would for sure be like. Baby, lock them doors and turn them lines down the road. Because you can still have a conversation like that, but if if it was like you have to sing loud uh. every conversation, be like, "Hey, mama," <laughs> it'd be, that would be really annoying. Like that would, that would be really so annoying. Bad. You're at the restaurant. Like, what do you want? Ah! Like, imagine, like your, your girlfriend's just like, "Why don't you ever talk dirty to me?" It's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, yes, baby." Right there! I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a fun life. Yeah, that could be fun. It's a life. You can definitely make people laugh yeah. at you all the time. Like, you yeah, dude, this motherfucker's got this weird medical. He has to sing everything. Like, what are you talking about? Like, now get in here, dude. Yeah. Say something. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people on very uh, strong drugs probably have worse situations they have to deal with in their life than singing to somebody that's true all the time they probably do that anyway they probably, they probably just somebody. do some some crack and they're just do like some trash can oh. magic music yeah hell yeah baby let us know if you had fun too yeah. also, or if leave, you yeah, hate us some of your own would you rathers down below some yeah. metal would you rathers we'll probably do a part two yeah these are fun yeah i like this a lot maybe we'll do or a, take below huh. Maybe we'll do a Would You Rather Metal fan submitted edition. Oh, the little viewer submission. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, and and you just have to comment. It's right there. It's right below. Right there. And we're definitely not telling you to do that because it boosts the algorithm or anything. Who's algorithm? Like, algorithm? Is that the child of Al Gore and... Uh, Bass? No, who's the rhythm guy? Who's the rhythm the guy? Busta Rhymes. <laughs> Who's that rhythm man, young boy? <laughs> so Buster Rhymes to you is and just Al Gore. the rhythm guy? No, it was because his name was Rhymes, Rhythm and Rhyme. <laughs> I was, I was, in my head when I said rhythm, I thought about his last... I was like, who's that rapper that's got rhythm in his name? And then I realized it was Rhyme. That was the pinnacle of rhythm man in my head. The rhythm man. Buster Rhymes. Yeah, dude, that's he's rhythm got man. the He's holding well, it down. Well, you never got the DLC for fucking Def Jam where you get to play as rhythm man? <laughs> no, but I did watch that uh, Whiplash movie where the guy is like not on my tempo or whatever. Mm -hmm. He seems like he's got rhythm pretty. He seems like he's got it pretty down. Yeah, that's the one where J.K. Simmons goes, Bring me drumming pictures of Spider-Man. I think so. I want to see pictures of Spider-Man The drumming. unfortunate thing is that Spider-Man played bass. So he didn't have any pictures of Spider-Man drumming. Venom! <laughs> 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 Don't fire some screw at you,